Okay, I am going to return because it's going to be an election issue. I'm returning now to add another increment to the Pro-Life Blasphemy series. This time the angle is that if you're running for President of the United States and you call yourself pro-life and you claim that abortion is murder, you do not have the qualifications to run for dog catcher let alone President of the United States. And this verse right in front of you right now is the reason why. Now, notice, okay, I've got my cursor on this word, which is loosely translated harm in English. Okay, notice that according to the theological word book of the Old Testament, which I have in hardback as well as here in Bible Works. This is Bible Works 5. That harm, highlighted in blue above in Hebrew, is talking about harm to the woman. The woman. Now, I'm not showing you the English yet. I want you to see that scholars have long known that that word highlighted in Hebrew in blue is talking about harm to the woman. Okay? This verse basically says, hi, a woman gets in a fight to try to protect her husband with another guy and she's pregnant and oh, excuse me, she gets hurt or only she has a miscarriage. Now, if abortion were murder, then if she had a miscarriage, that would be murder. The miscarriage being caused by whoever hit her would be the murderer. And the Bible makes it very clear in this verse. No. If the fetus is hurt, but not her, it's not murder. It's a civil thing, and her husband decides the fine, period. Okay, if our, if our proposed presidents of the United States who claim to be Christian and claim to care about the sanctity of life care so little about the sanctity of God's word, they're aborting the word to run for public office with all the disgusting, lying, anti-biblical pro-lifers who want to acquire and give to Caesar what belongs to God. I don't want such a man or woman as my president. They are not fit to be dog catcher. All they're fit for is burning. Now, that's the heads up for what's going to come in the rest of this video. It's very strong what I'm saying. It's very nasty what I'm saying. Because they're being very nasty to God. Now you do not want to be a Christian who's being nasty to God, do you? Does this make abortion okay? No. But it does make wrong, provably wrong, that, hello, if you claim abortion is murder and you claim that that's God's word, you're lying against God's word. This word right here proves it. And we have proof that scholars know that. Oh, but the story gets much more, much more scary than this. Coming up next.